So before we begin talking about marching fundamentals, the first thing we need to discuss is adjusting the harnesses so that the instrument is at the proper performing height for the individuals. For snare drummers, we want the height of the drum to be just a little bit below the belly button. So with tenors, you want that to be maybe just a little bit lower than the snare drum height. They have to deal with crossovers and sweeping patterns around the drums, and the higher the drums are, the more rims they're going to hit. So you want to keep that just slightly lower than what you would have for the snare drums. To find the proper bass drum height, the forearm of the bass drummer should be parallel or slightly below parallel compared to the ground. With the mallet in the hand, position the drum so that the beater falls into the middle of the head. A good basic body posture is positioned with the hips over the ankles with a slight break in the knee, shoulders slightly back, and chin out. At the resting position, sticks should be in and level. The resting position for the bass drums has the hands at the rim. To position the feet, you want to put the heels together and then depending on the style of marching in your program, you may keep the toes together or open the toes sometimes as wide as a 45 degree angle. As a side note, I should say that it's easier for the percussionist to have the toes open as it provides a little bit of side to side stability, kind of like a tripod. Once we've gotten the proper posture and the instruments are at the appropriate heights, then we have to get the positioning and the distance from one another. One good way to do that is to take the sticks for the snare drummers and put a one stick distance from drum to drum. You would do this adjusting from the center out. Tenor drummers, basically the concept is a rim to rim concept with maybe two or three inches in between. You really don't want them touching. For the bass drums, about a three-step interval should do. You don't want to make it too wide because when you're playing in your warm-up scenario, you want to be close enough together to really be able to hear each other well. For the cymbal players, you want them to fully extend their arms so that the cymbals are close to touching but not overlapping. This will provide them the room that they need to do all of the visuals and to play properly. <laughs> 